6 a.m. Interesting to be back. Haven't been back since the race. It's uh, sun is coming up a little later these days, but Manitou is it's still here, and the mountain is still here. The sun will rise, and uh, we're gonna go get it done again. Okay, bringing the uh, Mr. Drone with me up today, taking out the Brooks Cascadia 16. First time ever in the Cascadia lineup. Thank you, Brooks, for sending these along. I've never tried the Cascadia lineup, so excited about these guys. Bright yellow, you won't miss me out there on the trail. And uh, we got the gimbal, we got two GoPros, we got the drone. We're gonna go seek some beauty for all of you on America's Mountain. And again, on Instagram, I've got a, a picture up there of me almost falling in the race in case you haven't seen it yet. It's, uh, it's interesting. I don't want to say it's funny because I almost fell, but you know, it's interesting. It's a good picture. All right, let's go. It's fun to win the Pikes Peak Marathon, don't get me wrong, but this is just as fun. Waking up at 3.45 a.m., hitting the road, getting on the trails when no one is watching, putting in the work when no one is watching. Now, I'm a unique situation because I've got a YouTube channel with a camera in front of me a lot of the times on the trails, but I'm telling you everyone, relish the quiet, relish the silence on your, whenever you run, whether it's morning, night, lunch break, doesn't matter, relish that and uh, embrace it because we runners, we've got a gift. We've got a gift out here. All right, speaking of, enjoy. He gets it. He gets it, everybody.
It's good to be back on top, everyone. Okay, uh, it's nice just to hang out for a little bit rather than just turning around all quick and, you know, not soaking up the view. Frankly, it's kind of nice to see the uh, Cog Railway back up here. It was out of, uh, out of order last year in 2000. In 20, now I've always got these uh, quips or sayings going through my mind as I'm running up these mountains. And in this case, so what is the saying? How's the saying go? Um, do as I <laughs> do as I do, not as I say. It basically follow by, follow my example. And in training, I'm actually going to reverse that. Don't do as I do do as I say. We've talked about the New York City Marathon training block in the last couple days on the vlog and let me be the mad scientist. Let me push the limits a little bit. Then, as I said on the trail, I've got the camera. I will communicate through that lens onto YouTube to all of you so that as you know as accurately as possible every single day so that you can learn and figure out and uh, discern like okay what is gonna work in my life in my life situation with my experience with my body type with how you know the the talents that I've been given on this earth um, so let me be the mad scientist when it comes to training and then uh, and then I'll communicate so don't I, I so I did 22 miles yesterday on the Highline Canal and now I'm doing 26 miles up and down Pikes Peak with 7,000 you know 200 feet of vertical gain don't do that don't do that all right so I just wanted to make that just wanted to clarify that and uh, part of this journey up and down Pikes Peak today and all the training that I've done this summer is discipline remember the morning of the Pikes Peak Marathon you know two or three weeks ago I woke up naturally I think it what was it 4 a.m. it was three hours before the race all on my own no alarm what was that that was freedom I, and I know I'm like, I know I'm up on my high horse right now, but that was freedom for me on race day. Why did I have freedom on race day before flying the W at the Pikes Peak Marathon? Because I had discipline. Discipline equals freedom. Oh, and it's so hard. Every it's so hard. I did not want to get out of the bed this morning. I haven't been getting up at 3:45 as regularly in the last three weeks but I want to get back to that discipline. We're going to talk to True Love as well about her discipline that she is integrating into her life uh, now that we're in the new house. We're still unpacking a little bit, but she's excited to have discipline in her life. So anyway, we're going to talk about that back uh, back at the house. All right, getting off, ooh, getting off my high horse. <laughs> See you down at the bottom. I need some water. We made it. Oh, it feels good to be back. I tell you what, feeling strong, everyone. Feeling strong. Legs feel pretty good overall. In some good vertical, and yes, some comments are popping up on Strava, as I, I know they always will, and I appreciate you, you know, bringing conversation to the forefront about the roller coaster. So I think I'm gonna do another vlog next week specifically about the volume for the New York City Marathon training block because uh, we're doing some mad scientist work. Oh my my, this is, this is, this is the butter, the butter right here. All right, let's go check in to love. Yeah, Fun. wasn't that nice? Look what we got. New house, New, what is this? A walk. A walk. For it, uh, here's a little B-roll from dinner. Hey yo, any uh, walk experts out there? I know I have to research we how got, to do it better. We got to figure this out. Yeah. Ah, uh, Han, discipline. Yes. Equals freedom. Yes. In the sense, everybody, that when you're in charge, it actually opens up opportunities mm. for your day. At least that's yes. what I have found, right? Yes. And true love, saw something happen in the closet yesterday, yeah. a couple days ago. What did you see? I saw you plug our alarm clock into the closet. Yep. And it inspired me to set my alarm clock sooner. Boom. And for two days straight, guys, a whole two days, but still two days in a row, I've been getting up at 5.30 in the morning before anybody else is up besides him. 
before the children are up to start the day. Get the day rolling. Enough of the putting out fires and juggling. I want it to happen to the day instead Boom. of the day happen to me. How has running, question of the day, how has running created more freedom in your life? Ooh, it's a it's, great question. It's a balance. It's hard. It's uh, it's all about the balance. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but that's mm. even um, you know, like stretching and mobility routines. Wow. So that, like I'm 36, yeah. I'm looking at my legs, like when I'm 66 or 76, will stretching and mobility routines give me more freedom down the road. Oh, definitely. In my 80s. Yes, they will. Let's hope so. And great Grammy is proof of that, babies. Yes, she you is. You see her stretching routine. She's she crushes. So, discipline, we have found, we are finding out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's been two days, two but we days. are we are finding out. Amazing. Is uh For creating freedom. Yeah. So, anyway, here yeah, we go. Oh, and thank you for cooking dinner. Oh, walk, yeah, you're walk welcome. action. Aww. Cool, I'm another day. Sorry, Smets. We'll just go with Smets. I've seen your footage of Francois with his son more than 20 times <laughs> now, and it, it really is the best piece of video I've seen of all of UTMB. Great job. Love this edit, by the way. That was behind the scenes from yesterday's vlog. I just. Did like 30, it was a 37 minute vlog. Oh, block. fun. Everyone's enjoying it. Ale, ale, papa. So sorry about, I'm not pronouncing the name. Giz Schmetz. We'll Gish. go, with, we'll go okay. with that. So thank you. You get the oh. comment of the day. Thanks for watching everyone. We're just onward and upward around these mm. parts. All right. We will toss it to, um, oh, hmm. Let's what see. shall we toss it to? What? Yeah, you have you, one? The 37 minute? Montage? Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday's Why was not? really good. If you missed it, right here. Or if you didn't finish it, now's your chance. Now's your beautiful. chance. Ale, ale. Ale, ale. <laughs> it's so good. Ah. Oh, man. All right, everyone. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. We'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.